This is Mustache on Music, and this is Benji from Pledge Music. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Doing alright, doing alright, making it happen. Uh, you got this uh, amazing show, like parking it's lot stuff Legendary, is what's been going on. Legendary, thank legendary. you Audio Bud. It's at Legendary. <laughs> so, Pledge Music, you're relatively new? Four years old. Four years old. We're relatively so, new in Canada. Canada, yeah. yeah. So you're a crowd-funded organization? Crowd-sourced is as far as I'd go. Okay. Um, we're, we might think that we're different from crowdfunding. Crowdfunding tends to be where a band says, please give us money and then we'll go make a record. Okay. What we view it as is, pledge here to be a part of the making of our album. And from day one, we'll give you access to a special private part of the pledge site that has rough mixes, live tracks, demos, video blogs, we show the process of the making of the album that then shows up to the fans first and then goes to everybody else. Okay. It's like having a pop-up temporary fan club on the internet. Oh, okay. So instead of like sites like Kickstarter that are, like, there's like no range, like, they include everything, you're just music. Yeah, exactly. So basically what, what it would be is just like, um, we, we do everything from major label acts to unsigned, you know, bands doing their first EP. And it's really a way for the for them to say to their fans, get involved with us now as we're making this album. And um, the reason that we don't call ourselves a crowdfunding site is because we never display how much money is being raised. That's just, just a percentage. Okay. So it's kind of a different way of doing things. But what it means is is that fans aren't sitting there saying, oh, my band is worth ten thousand dollars or five thousand dollars or seven. They're just okay. saying. My favorite band's making an album. I want to share this with all my friends. So it's 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 part social network, part crowd sourced funded platform, part you know uh, you know. It's just I guess what it is is I don't want to say it's a crowdfunding platform when it does a lot more than that. That's true. I can understand that. Yeah. Um, so what like what bands have used this sort of uh, this funding? Recently, yeah. like oh, I mean, you know, we launched, put into production, and released two, three albums every day. So it's oh, quite wow. a few, yeah. Um, and that's you know, we've had we had the number three album in the UK with Bring Me the Horizon. We had the number six album in Canada with um, the Headstones. We did Ben Folds Five. We just did a campaign with Amanda Palmer, um, Mike Doty from Soul Coughing, Joseph Arthur. You know, we've got a pretty. Everything down from you know drummers like Steve Gadd is doing an album with us. So it's really across the board. Um, some of our favorite things though is is like we meet and go to showcases here and bring on bands, you know, like you know, the Quiet Company we're loading out the show right now, they're one of the artists that we've worked with. So it's it's really not just about getting the big guys and just getting little guys, it's about we can do this benefits everybody and the fans have a better experience of Music than they would if it was just you know buy a you know record from a shop. Yeah. And that bleeping, by the way, is the door every time it opens. So it's not like it's actually coming from his mustache. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we can edit that out later which, on. But we which, which brings a good point. Do you uh, do you give more favor to people with mustaches on the? Uh... Yeah, uh, we actually add an extra dollar for every band that has a mustache in it. There you go. So more bands with mustaches. Don't, I'm sorry, we don't. I'll say that we do, and never we go. Damn it. Yeah. Um, I have commented on epic mustaches on um, uh, uh, on the internet. Though. I will say that. Yeah. 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 The uh, the bands with beards, the bands with mustaches, is it's it's uneven. I see I see more bands with beards. Ben it's Kaplan uh, oh. is an artist that we've worked with, and he has quite a quite a. Um, yeah. um, uh, remarkable beard. He does. He really does. But but I don't know anyone of late who's got a great mustache on pledge. But maybe we can have that as one of the filters or search terms. I I would yeah. be on there. Beard every versus day. mustache. Ready? That's his mustache. Listen. You hear that? That was the bleeping of the mustache. And wait for it. It seems to be a buckle. <laughs> It's it's going well. Yeah. We're in a church. Good thing we're not cursing or heads off. So if you could have any mustache besides this this somewhat beard that yeah. you got going on, yeah. what uh, what mustache would you have? Just anything, just Buck Reynolds. 
Magnum PI, yep. just the bold thing. That seems to be a like a very popular choice. Just it's 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 a pretty it's mighty. You yeah. know the the, the Burt Reynolds, Tom Selleck. You've got um uh, you know those are the ones that roll off the tongue. I mean I suppose literally in some cases, <laughs> but um uh, roll over the tongue. Is yeah, what it would be. that's a it's a manly mustache. That's very when true. You, when you look back at the nineties, those like. Franz Nikolai has a good mustache. I am he was the he was in the whole study for a while, and he has a solo thing. So check okay. out Franz Nikolai has a okay, mustache. We'll check it out. Yeah, so although he didn't go on pledge even on Kickstarter, so oh. you know, we I, won't I, check I, I, I punish him for for that.